this point. I've got a bone to pick with the driver of that UFO. You crazy boy? That's a goddamn alien ship. Yeah, and it's time to knock it out of the sky. Well, look at you, Mr. Tough Guy, ready to take on the alien menace and save the human race. Yeah. Why aren't you doing it? Hands are tied. We've got orders to hold fire till we can send in volunteers to place these airstrike beacons. Volunteers? Top Brass doesn't want us risking our boys to an unknown enemy. Can't do nothing till they figure something else out. Hell with that. I ain't afraid of them. Give me one of those. Give him hell, soldier. He is so fucking dead. There's one thing we know, it's that sentimentality is overrated. There's no limit to what we will buy, sell, or gladly accept for the heck of it. Family heirlooms, guns, jewelry, and more. Got some human organs to spare? We'll take them no matter what the condition. Are your kids getting out of hand? Call them over and name your price. Anything and everything you don't want, we will buy. Alley's Pawn Closet, what's your life worth? This is Eddie Man, all now to you live from the hood. 98.4. Next one goes out to all the players. It's Blue Milk by Big Chocolate. No luck. Hey, Jason. I'm, I'm glad you're here. Everything okay, Ben? This is probably my last day alive, so uh, I just want to state for the official on the record and such that uh, Frank did wrong by you. What are you talking about, last day alive? Frank told me to hit up some supply drops and stashes, right? From some of the other families and outfits running around Vegas. So, I got a guy following their couriers around. Problem is, that if my guy's tailing the couriers, no one's actually picking up what they're dropping off. Don't worry, Ben. I'll help you out. Oh, you're the best. I'll text you the locations. Factory. 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 Factory.
is 92.2, the Dub Factory. Then up next is Bad Machine by Nostalgia. Check it out. Police are urging residents and visitors to stay clear of Western Las Vegas until the area is secured. And, as Police Chief Ralph Watkins put it, quote, the trash is taken out, or as the situation progresses. This song reminds me of an afternoon I spent with the English junior women's yeah. soccer team back in the days at university. I'm talking Blow Me by Dank. Here it is. My name is Chester Harrington. I've been trying to contact you for weeks, but you've been avoiding my call. I'm representing two dozen women in a class action lawsuit against you for offenses that include statutory rape and over $130,000 of unpaid child support. Mr. Castle? Uh, uh, Mr. Castle had to step out for two shakes of a lap step. Oh, I'll have him give you a man as soon as he steps back in, dearie. Ah, oh, bollocks. Um, we'll be back in a moment. This next track I've got for you is a man. Get this. Sure, Ben. Yeah. Oh, good. You picked up. That's great. That's, uh... What do you need, Benny? Ah, nothing. Just, uh... uh you want to hang out? Yeah, maybe shoot some pool, or... I don't know. 
Maybe blow up a trailer park? Frank told you to blow up a trailer park, didn't you? Uh, it, it's sort of, it, it's just a... Uh, look, come meet me. Don't use your outer beauty as well? At the Plastic Surgery Pavilion of Greater Vegas, we can bring that inner beauty out at a fraction of the cost of the so-called board-certified surgeons. Hi, I'm Dr. Zizbrand, and whatever surgery stuff you need, I got it. Saggy flesh taking the zest out of your marriage? I'll show your spouse someone they've never seen before. Or say you find yourself in a highly contrived situation that requires you to get a new face immediately. I got one waiting for you in my freezer. I can't tell you where I got it, but I'm passing the savings on to you. The Plastic Surgery Pavilion of Greater Vegas. Find us at 177 Pine Lane. Or if that location is closed, head to the alley behind the club on Tropic Or you can go to the payphone at the corner of Houston Boulevard and Aliana Drive. And page 555 Face. Someone will call you back with a location within... Oh, good, you made it. Uh, come on, you drive. I, uh, I gotta finish working on something. You seem nervous, Ben. Oh, yeah, you know. I'm just trying to finish putting this thing together. And, uh, I, I don't know. I'm just not great with explosives. Wait, what? That's a bomb? I told you. We're gonna blow up a trailer park. With that? That thing looks like an eggplant. Plastics. Old school. Don't worry. I think I got it all hooked up right. What did Frank tell you to do? That guy you kidnapped finally spilled his beans. So Frank tells me, Benny, you dumb shit. The huevos are meeting in the Street of Dreams trailer park. I want you to crash the park. Gotcha. So I'm what? Protection? No, uh, you're like a, a diversion. You're gonna set up this here explosive and... Uh oh What? What? It's ticking. What? Throw it out the window! Throw it out the window! Wait, no! It kills! It's my watch. Anyway, you're gonna set this explosive up in front. When you trigger it, Los Huevos will be running around all stopping. You take them out, right? Meanwhile, I'm sneaking the back and I'm stealing this... Package. So, there's a package? Yeah, yeah, there's this package we gotta get. Supposed to lead us to whoever's supplying Los Huevos behind Frank's back or something. Fine. Set up them charges by that post over there. Hold them off till I give you a ring. They're probably packing assault rifles, so uh, try not to get shredded into a pile of bloody coleslaw. Moron! Ugh. 
Yeah. Okay. We're, uh, we're good. Meet me around back. On. What's the matter with you? Everything's all tight like that. Feels like I'm underwater. <laughs> I don't know. Ask well, because the chili dogs I have for breakfast. Keep driving. I gotta ask you something. Shoot. You ever like wake up in the middle of the night? Or, like feel like you, you got ghosts on all sides of you trying to smother you with pillows and whatnot? Hmm. Can't say I do, man. I was reading this book the other day about, like, people who are connected to the spirit world and whatnot. And they got, like... The hell was that? Huh? There's someone in the trunk. Are you serious? Yeah, the package. You didn't tell me the package was a person. You didn't ask. So, yeah, I'm reading this book, and you wouldn't believe what actually happened when you turn off the... Benny, who's back there? The person who was dealing with huevos. Someone Frank's not happy with, that's all that matters. So, I'm reading this book by this spirit medium lady, and she's like... Oh, forget it. Just drive. Hey, this is the place. Stop the car. Hey, Jay, listen. Pop the trunk, will you? cement shoes at the bottom of Lake Mead right now. Vera, Frank's got Karen. What? How do you know? Because I kind of helped him kidnap her. Why the hell did you do that? Frank's been making me work for him. I didn't have a choice. I, I called Karen a few times. Didn't she tell you? She didn't say nothing. We've been doing what we can to chip away at Mount Frank from down below, but... I know. I'm supposed to give you a message. Hand yourself over to Frank. Get Karen's head in the box. Oh, damn it. We cooked too hard. I knew this wasn't a good idea. All right, I'll do it. No, you're not doing anything. Sit tight. I'll get her back. Just... Do you know where he might have taken her? First guess would be the strip mine outside the city. That's where he and Johnny used to take VIPs to, uh... You know. All right, I'm on.